Good afternoon. Yes, uh, my name is Amuli Musioka, and uh, I'm a trichologist. A trichologist is someone who really looks into how the hair relates to the body. So every bit of the body is related to your hair because your hair is connected to a lot of nerve endings. So everything that is happening to this body system is actually reflected in the hair. And, and one good thing is that when mothers are expectant, their hair tend to be very good. Because what happens is that the female hormones tend to go high. When someone is pregnant, their female hormones, or we call them estrogens, they tend to rise. And it's a good thing, because female hormones are very good for hair. Male hormones are bad for hair. And that's why people who are balding, they have accumulated a certain amount of a male hormone that we call DHT. Now, anyway, what is important is when, you, when, 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 when ladies are, are expectant, how do they take care of their hair? I think that is something that's very important because there are a lot of myths. Number one, every time I meet hairdressers, they ask me, when someone is pregnant, should they go under the dryer? Yeah? Then number two, most of the ladies, when they're expectant, on their third month, they start braiding their hair or weaving their hair, and they do that for the rest of the pregnancy. So when you pull your hair down, then you lose up to 50% of your hair. This could happen because of, ideally, the change in hormones, because after pregnancy, your, your body realizes you are producing too much estrogen, so we need to go back to normal. So that imbalance in hormones then is reflected in the hair two to three months after pregnancy. Because your hair takes three months to move from the growing phase to the falling phase. So the key thing is take good care of your hair during pregnancy. And the, sh the hair that you will shed after pregnancy will be minimal. But if you've been mistreating your hair, then after pregnancy you lose a lot of hair. So the key thing is if your hair is open after two to, two to three months, that is, uh, I mean, one and a half months to two months, that is six to eight weeks, retouch your hair. Because if you keep growth, then there will be a conflict between the straight and the curly hair. Are, are, we, are we together? Okay. Then the other thing is you need to treat your hair weekly. If it is too much, then ensure that at least two times in a month you do treatments. Your, your hairdressers tell you to alternate treatments. I hope they explain to you that alternating is not running from one brand to another. It's getting a protein treatment and a moisturizing treatment. Because all your hair needs is, if your hair is dry, then it becomes brittle. So you need to give it moisture. If your hair is weak, then it needs protein to ensure that it's strong. So alternating could mean that, it does not, it does not mean that you run from one brand to another. Because, for instance, if you're using Miadi and you're using a moisturizing treatment and you you change to motions and you use a moisture plus treatment in motions, then you're doing the same thing. You're not really giving your hair strength. So your hair will be shiny, but it will be shedding because you're not really giving protein to your hair. For instance, when you look at Miadi, you will see at the, at, at, at the stand, we have the protein treatment, we have the moisturizing treatment. So you, got, you can get all that you need in one brand and, and your hair will be looking good. When you're just about to deliver, three weeks to delivery or two weeks to delivery, then you can do either a weave or you can do something like braids because during that period of delivery then you might not have enough time to take care of your hair. But at least for the nine months you'll have taken good care of your hair. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Muli. He's a hair care specialist and as you can see he's got <laughs> a good I mean he's got good hair. He's he's really I mean his hair is full, so thank you for that, Muli.